Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Democrats livid. Melania rocks first White House state dinner with special tribute. First Lady Melania Trump is facing her biggest challenge yet as she hosts her first official White House state dinner. Like all things done by the Trump White House, Melania is doing things her way and has spent months in preparation for this main event. On hand will be France's President Emmanuel Macron and his wife, and as details begin to leak out, Democrats are livid as Flotus announces a special tribute. Melania Trump could have hired a huge staff to pull off her first White House state dinner. That's exactly what Michelle Obama and Hillary Clinton did as first ladies, but Melania refused to give in to the pressure of planning such a prestigious event. She took charge of planning the entire evening with no detail too small for her approval. CNN reports, so confident was, Melania, Trump about her ability to handle something like a state dinner, with its myriad details, that the first lady would not hire an event planner to help, as previous first ladies have done in the past to manage the grandeur and spectacle. They add, for example, the final state dinner of the Obama administration, its 14th, was a tented affair for former Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi, held on the south lawn of the White House for 400 guests. Michelle Obama wore a custom, chain mail atelier Versace gown, Mario Batali cooked, and Gwen Stefani entertained. For the Trump administration's first state dinner, there will be none of that. There will also be none of the paparazzi element that has come with past state dinners, celebrity supporters of the president are harder to come by than they were for Obama. A smaller, more elegant event allows a guest to have a more personal experience, and that is very important to Mrs. Trump, said Stephanie Grisham, Mrs. Trump's closet aide, who confirmed the dinner will take place in the state dining room, which can hold about 100 to 150 seated guests. Mrs. Trump has also been doing some homework educating herself about the protocol and history of these sorts of White House events. This is to ensure her selections for the Macron's visit have meaning behind them, down to the China, flowers, color scheme, and menu, which, while American, will highlight the influence France has had on American cuisine. Mrs. Trump selected every item and every detail for the dinner, from the entree to the chair cushions, said White House Social Secretary Ricky Nisita. But, as details leaked out, the Democrats are livid. First, President Donald Trump decided he didn't want anyone there who has not been supportive of his administration, which means, yep, you guessed it, no Democrats got an invite. Trump also shunned the mainstream media, they won't be allowed access. Then, there's Mrs. Trump's special tribute to the Macrons, which has the Trump haters doing backflips. Melania loves giving gifts with a special meaning, and she has outdone herself with her original choice for the Macrons in France. Mrs. Trump's special tribute gift will be a framed section of upholstery from one of the chairs in the White House Blue Room. Featuring a golden eagle surrounded by laurels, the chair was part of the furniture suite inspired by Pierre-Antoine Bellange, the famous French designer who was commissioned to create 53 carved and gilded pieces for the Blue Room by President James Monroe in 1817. After the furniture had gone into disrepair, First Lady Jackie Kennedy found the spare pieces and brought them back during her quest to restore the White House. Democrats and swamp dwellers are aghast that Melania is giving away White House heirlooms. What a joke! She is taking some discarded upholstery which has historic meaning between the U.S. and France and is turning it into a wonderful gift of meaning. Melania was also adamant that the dinner is held in the White House state dining room, instead of out on the lawn under tents. The Obamas always held their packed state dinners under huge white tents, which is a turn-off to Mrs. Trump. It is also another reason the guest list had to be kept to a minimum of 150 people, thus the Democrats, who have done nothing but try to impeach Trump, didn't make the cut. Melania's secretary and close aide Stephanie Grisham sheds light on the First Lady's thinking, saying, she has been very focused on the experience of the guests, and wants to ensure they are able to truly enjoy and remember the occasion. When you are invited to a dinner at the White House, it is very special to be able to sit in the state dining room. After all, this is the people's house, which is rich with history and tradition. Melania calls her team small but mighty. Most people don't know the First Lady fired Stephanie Winston Wolkoff, a former Manhattan-based senior advisor to Trump. After Melania found out in February that Wolkoff had charged taxpayers $26 million for her services working on the inauguration, Flotus was dumbfounded. She immediately dismissed Wolkoff and has kept her staff to a bare minimum of about 10 hard-working aides. Michelle Obama had approximately 24 paid staffers assigned to her as the first lady. Melania Trump wasn't seeking political office, but she supported her husband's decision to run for office. Now, as our first lady, 
she is becoming a true icon, much like Jackie Kennedy. Reserved, classy, graceful, and with a steely strength, she has wowed the nation and the world. There's no doubt this first state dinner will be a night to remember as the President and First Lady reward those who have stood by their side as they continue to take on the swamp and win. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.